Hello and welcome to the Tristan channel and this one is a reaction to another of Bizarre Bub's video, uh, channel videos. This is um, uh, Scary Compilation V32. The other one I reacted to was V31. So with any of these videos I put the link description to their channel below. Go over there, check it out and do the thing. So Let's just get this minimized bit. So, without further ado, let's see how good this gets. An urban explorer visits an abandoned house and encounters something terrifying. The person exploring the house has no idea as to what happened there. If only he knew, he would have held off from visiting this place. It was only after posting this video that a local resident commented on the history of this home. According to them, a mother and her two sons used to live there. But, unfortunately, something really tragic happened to them. One day, one of her sons goes missing. Then, a few days later, the mother is found dead, along with her other son, who she murdered before taking her own life. The horrible incident that took place inside this home has led local residents to believe that the house is cursed and that a sinister presence resides inside. The video that was captured may just prove that. This is what was... It's never nice when that sort of thing happens, is it? Really? It's very tragic, you know. That's some... You know... And there's a lot of mental, mental health involved in stuff like that, you know. But, you know, it's kind of... Does make you think what drives into that sort of point, you know? Yeah, sad, isn't it? A face can be seen from inside the ceiling. It's not clear as to who or what was inside, but it's obvious that somebody or something was up there. Now, it might be the case that the thing up there is actually a squatter, but given the history of this place, one can't help but think that this might have been a paranormal encounter, and perhaps... Mm. Too fair, it looks too grainy. You know, the problem is it's easy to see a face now in the green, isn't it? Because they've suggested it, but I, I don't know. I can see some sort of colour there, but no, it's hard to say because the quality is not good. Apps, the sinister entity that is said to live there. But as always, I'll let you decide as to what this might have been, ghost. Or something else. Let me know what you think. Morales, Debbie, and her friends are tubing through a canal when they capture something creepy on camera. This video was taken on July 8th of 2018, but prior to this date, about five years ago, someone had drowned in the same canal that Morales is in. Little does she know that she and her friends would capture something disturbing take a look. It was only after posting the video on Facebook and being told by viewers about this that she noticed. Viewers think that this could have been the ghost of the victim who had drowned. 
Others think that this could have been something else, perhaps a creature. No one knows for sure, but it seems like more people believe that this might be the spirit of a deceased who appears to be reaching for the water tube to save itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't know that it's too late. But of course, what are your thoughts? Paranormal or not? It does look like some swimming, doesn't it? It's the middle of the night, and O Deject is on his phone when something downright creepy happens. In the corner of his room, there's a doll. O Deject writes, I was on. Fucking hell, just first shot of that doll. It's just a freaky doll, isn't it? Fucking hell. Oh, fucking. Who would keep a creepy doll like that in the corner? my phone in my room when I heard something. This is what he caught. The doll appears to have moved by itself. Now, it could be the case that friction was responsible for this. But regardless of whether or not this was something paranormal, the video is still nonetheless pretty creepy. The question still remains though, as not enough evidence is given to prove either claim. Did friction have to do anything with this? Or did it actually move on its own? What do you think? If you caught something creepy on camera, <coughs> could be. It could have not been resting on it properly and eventually gone like that. You know what I mean, but yeah, that's still freaky. I mean, the doll's flipping freaky for Christ's sake. Or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Brian Ramirez is in his backyard when he sees something inside his house that scared the living hell out of him. Brian writes, I was home alone when I took my dog out to the backyard to go to the bathroom. As I was waiting for him to finish, I look up to my parents' bedroom and see this. Oh, mate. Regardless of whatever this was. I mean, look at that. Fucking hell. There's no way that Brian was able to sleep that same night. Talk about nightmare fuel. This is creepy. Susie Somori lives in a three-story house with lots of stairs in several rooms. Out of all the rooms, there's one in particular that she stays away from. On the third floor, there's a large vacant room with a painting of a sun on one of its walls. She doesn't know why, but there's something about this painting that makes her feel uneasy. It may be the ambience of the room, but she can't help but feel like the painting is responsible for the dreaded feeling she gets whenever she walks in. So, thinking it's all in her head, she tries her best to ignore this feeling. But then, one day, Susie encounters something that scared the living daylights out of her. Susie is home alone when she captures the following on camera. Susie ends the video there, but little does she know that things were about to get worse. One day, Susie's niece is playing inside the room, and while spying on her, she captures this. What? What? I heard. I heard that. I heard that. 
Her niece appears to be talking to the painting as though she's having a conversation with it. Susie didn't like this, and so she asked her as to who she was talking to. This is what she said. Did you like him? Yeah, Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, he, is Gilbert friendly? Yeah. Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because I don't pray. Susie doesn't know what to make of this. It seems that her niece had befriended Gilbert, the painting on the wall. She's made an imaginary friend. But the thing said by the so-called friend doesn't sit well with Susie. And so, she decides to spy on her once more. But this time, she captures something even more strange. Her niece appears to be looking for something underneath the floorboard. It was only after her niece had fallen asleep that she decided to investigate the spot. She checks it out and ends up finding something disturbing. Take a look. Needless to say, Susie was speechless. What's more strange about this is the Ouija board itself. If you look closely, the board appears to have the same painting of the sun that's on the wall. This can't be a coincidence. Susie is certain that the board is somehow connected to the painting. This unsettling discovery has led Susie into researching the history of her home. And, after much research, she found this. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John, the mother was called Maud. Next to her on the balcony, here's a daughter, Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo, what they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands of his own family. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Gilbert was the name of a child who used to live in her house and whose room has the painting of the sun, which seems to have been named after him. She has yet to post more info on the history of her home, for now, she continues researching in the hopes of putting an end to this mystery. Is Gilbert the supposed ghost that talks to her niece? Or is it something else? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Well, that was good, wasn't it? Might have to do some more reactions to this channel. He did some really good ones, didn't he? Some f proper freaky ones there, isn't it? Well, say. 
you like this if you like this video hit the like if you haven't already subscribe and you know let me know what you think about this, these videos this compilation um looks like it's just some good ones no yeah there's some one yeah there's some there that you think well yeah i'm surprised they wouldn't go back to sleep in their own house so yeah proper spooker so until next time folks take care